Welcome to the A to Z of networking. Over the coming weeks I'm going to share with you some key networking tips that have been gleaned from my network as I've gone through on a regular basis and said what are your networking A's, what are your networking B's and I'll share the best of those with you. And of course, naturally, we're going to start with the letter A. First up, and it's something that's going to underpin a lot of what I share with you in these videos is authenticity. You know, it's very tempting to constantly portray a successful image whenever you go out and you network or you engage with the people in your network. And there are times when, yes, you need to be seen as confident, you need to be seen as knowing what you're doing. But you also need to create around you a trusted network of people with whom you can be honest, with whom you can be open, with whom you can be transparent, with whom you can share your struggles, your challenges and your fears. And through that you build an authenticity which gets people to really trust you. And because you're in that space, that then transfers to all of your dealings with other people. You know, people want to know that you genuinely like them, you genuinely are interested in what they have to say, rather than you're flattering them or you're going through the motions, you're, you're creating an act. And they'll soon know whether you're authentic or not. And that message, that personal brand, that sense that you're an authentic person will go a long way to whether people feel comfortable helping you, supporting you, referring you and buying from you. Networking is founded on building strong relationships, not rushing in and expecting people to be there for you. But ultimately, you're doing it for a reason. And that's because you're looking for support, you're looking for help, you're looking for introductions. But if you don't ask, people aren't going to help you. You can't just assume that your network knows what you're looking for. Once you've invested in the relationship, once you know people would be willing to help you, if you see an opportunity for them to do so, then ask them because otherwise you're not really going to get the level of support, the potential that your, that your network can really offer you. And don't hold back because you think that asking for help makes you look weak or, or makes you, you know, appear vulnerable or not knowing what you're doing because that's not the case. You know, people are actually like to help the people they like. So when you ask for help, you're, you're not being a burden on your network, you're actually giving them pleasure as long as you've invested in them in the first place. And in terms of looking weak or vulnerable, well it's how you phrase the question. If you turn around and, and act desperate and show that you're desperate and don't show confidence, then asking for help is going to look weak. But if you come from a position of strength, then people will be delighted to help you. Give people the gift of your full attention. Stop your eyes wondering. Don't worry about who else is in the room if you're at a networking event. Don't worry about what your next meeting is. When you're in the room, as my friend Nigel Risner says, be in the room for that person. Give them your full attention. If you're a member of a networking group, then the only way you're going to get a return on that investment is by making part of that investment your time and your presence. So be there, make sure that you go to events and make sure you use the full time allotted to you because that's where you'll build the relationships that are going to be key in building your network. Look out for any opportunities you can to help connect, support other people in your network. The more that you can promote them, the more that you can be there for them, then the more that you're investing into building the relationships that you're going to need at some point to give you the support that you're looking for. Don't let the people in your network think or believe that you're taking them for granted. The more that you do that, the more that they feel that, the smaller your network's going to get. Be positive in how you interact with your network. I started out this video talking about being authentic, but being authentic and being open with people doesn't mean being negative. Have a strong positive attitude because that will then sort of carry over to other people and, and ensure that they want to help you, that they want to be around you and they want to be part of your network. 
So those were your networking A's. There was obviously a lot more, but that's a bit of food for thought to get you started. I'll be back very soon with a video covering your networking B's.